Hello everyone, Frank the Tank here. Today I'm going to talk about the aftermarket parts for the Canik TP9 SFX. Um, this time we're going to talk about the recoil system. If you haven't watched the video of the extended magazine plate, make sure to click the video over here so you can watch the video right now. So let's just make sure the gun is clear. There's no round in the magazine. There's no round in the chamber. All right. So. Three months ago, I contact the Sprinco USA to talk about the recoil managing system for the Canik TP9 SFX. So this is the recoil managing system for the Canik TP9 SFX. Um, I use it since then, actually. Um, when I first time received the the guide rod and the spring, I was fascinated by the quality it builds, especially for the guide rod system. This guide rod is basically heat treated stainless steel and also hand polished so you can reduce the friction. I really love, um, you know, when you have the spring and the recoil guide rod together, if it's not smooth enough, you still cause some friction, cause some, you know, the physics. But I am fascinating how the quality of the guide rod reduce the friction. And also because of the dual spring system, this can really help to extend the weapon's life. What does that mean is uh, when you see this stock spring over here, I have a stock spring inside. I'm just going to go and show you right now. Most of most of the time, when you pull the trigger, the impact starts here and ended here. You know what I'm saying? Like every time it just bang, and then the slide will impact the frame. So that caused some damage of the uh, of the slide and the frame. And once you change the recoil system made by sprinkle it reduced that it re reduced the recoil also reduced the impact of the slide and the frame uh, because of the little dual spring over here the sub spring so that sub spring the, the secondary spring it helps to reduce that impact so i want to show you uh, how to put the sprinkle usa a recoil management system to the Canik TP9 SFX. Just need to take out the gun, and this is the stock spring. It's really easy to swap out. Uh, once you have the spring and the guide rod, you're just going to put it in. Um, it's a little bit shorter, so it will be a little bit, a little bit, just tiny, a little bit hard at the first time when you put it in. So. How I put it in is when you, you can hold your spring like like this, like having a needle, needle or something, you're going to put that in. So the gun points down, you will see the uh, inside of the frame and you're just going to put the spring, attach it and then just push the entire guide rod in it. And sometimes you, will, you won't feel, you will feel stuck. You just need to find a little bit, like just move it around. And once you find that, you can just easy to put it in, just like that. No modif modification needed, just put it in like that. And then we're just going to put the slide back. Did you see that different? Did you feel that different? Yeah. So the way it works is once you shoot, it's like you'll feel this is, this is the first spring and almost the end of the, the frame, almost on the cat, mat catch, uh, not the mat catch, the side, slight release, you'll feel a little bit, a little bit strong because that's a secondary spring. That's reduce the impact between the frame and the slide. Okay. So some people will, will might ask, is this, is the spring lighter than the stock spring? Yes. But when you put it on, because of the secondary spring, it will feel heavier. But the truth is, it's basically lighter than the stock stock spring. And also because you put it in, 
because of the secondary spring also makes the round back, back to the chamber faster. So that means when you shoot it, you will feel less muzzle flip because once the cycle is done, it won't go all the way to the back. It will cycle about like here and then move back really fast. So the cycle will be really, really fast and make your fall off shot faster. Um, they make two different kinds of spring for the Canik TP9 SFX. So they use a color to differentiate the the pounders basically. So this is the guide rod. So this is the white spring. They consider the lightest spring and the entire system. Um, this one I use it the most in my competition, especially my I'm shooting carry optic. I need faster fall out shot. So anyways, they have the white spring. They also have the red spring. Okay, so this is how they put in the package. Nice packaging, by the way. Love how they put in the package. So this is the red spring. Easy for the carry optic if you use the white spring. But if you want to take up the red dot and shoot the different divisions, the red spring is also good for the Canik TP9 SFX. Sprinkle also, the Sprinkle made the recoil, guide, uh, recoil managing system, especially for the TP9 SFX, but you can't find it on the website yet. They haven't put it on, but you just go to the recoil, uh, recoil managing system page and you scroll almost all the way down to the Wather section. There'll be a Wather PPQ, PPQ M2, Q5 match. Um, the SKU is 19170. So that is included with the white recoil spring. And again, if you want to add the other spring, this is the red spring, they use the same SKU together, even though it didn't label the TP9 SFX, but it labeled uh, the Wather PP9 and PPQ. That one is the SKU number is 35830. If you want to get the a secondary spring, the heavier spring for your uh, different load of your bullet, your ammo, you can use the red spring. After you're going to check out, there's a comment, you can tell them, say, I want especially for the Canik TP9 SFX. They will send it to you the right package, the right product for you for the Canik TP9 SFX. So yeah, this is everything about the uh, the Sprinkle USA Recoil Managing System. If you like the product, make sure to check out their website. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and if you have any questions or like this video or share what you think about this video and make the comment below. And don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos to come. And again, make sure to be safe on the range. And I will see you guys next time.